uh, it's just not worth it. I mean, it's for two seconds, maybe a good, great feeling, but when that's over, you're gonna be like, oh, why did I do this? And it's not worth it. And it's... Because it, it can mess up your life. I mean, I mean, after you, you, you know, it might be a, you know, a short high for a while, but I mean, after, after it's over, I mean, I know a lot of people that are sorry that they've done it, and uh, it, it just screwed them up because, I mean, once you break up with that girl, you made a commitment to that girl, and once you break up with her, it's, it's over. I mean, you feel horrible about it. Plus, also, it's safer with diseases and everything. I mean, condoms. They said, oh, my gosh, they said, I, I can't believe I did that. I don't know why I did it. It really, you know, it wasn't worth it, you know? It really wasn't worth it. It, it. it screwed up my relationship with my girlfriend, with God and my parents, and uh, I could get a disease now, and now this girl's pregnant. And now I got a baby on my hands, and I'm only 15, 17, 16 years old. What am I gonna do? I think it's because they think that, that kids aren't able to make the decision to stay abstinent, that no matter what, they're gonna do it anyway. But I mean, but I mean I'm here to say that, that you don't have to do it anyway, that, that you can make the decision to, to be abstinent. Can you hear it? This here is black and white, no room for gray here. Let's make a choice tonight to obey here. The simple truth that has to be taken. We need to walk the road of purification. There is a moral here we have to stand on. Let me make this clear, it is a man on. He knows it's not easy to do, but to give us strength, carry on. Cause all we want is that same hot feeling, and all she wants is a sweet romance. There is no second chance. I know the pressure's great, don't get me wrong, yeah. It'll be a big mistake if you're not strong, yeah. You better stop there and start realizing those great values that you're compromising. It's not enough to make a choice and let it sit there. You gotta get on your knees, you gotta stay there. Your mind's confused and your heart isn't sure. Just gotta choose who you love more. Cause all I want is that same hot feeling. And all I want is a sweet romance. But if tomorrow it's all over, there is no second chance. There is no second chance. There is no Chance. There is no second chance. Cause all he wants is that same hot feeling. And all she wants is a sweet romance. But if tomorrow it's all over, there is no second chance. There is no second chance. Now I know everybody out here is standing up for your virginity. So I really want to hear you sing this with me. There is no second chance. You can say, scream it. There is no second chance. 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 Let me hear it. There is no second chance. Come on. There is no second chance. There is no second chance. You get it? There is no second chance. 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 One more time. There is no second chance. There is no, there is no, there is no second chance. Amen. All right.
first of all, you're gonna have a little bambino on your hands and that you're gonna have to feed and you're gonna have to uh, care for every second. You're gonna have to quit school. You're gonna have to forget about all your dreams if you wanna be in a band, if you wanna rap, if you wanna do whatever. You can't do it now, cause you got a little baby. Uh, and you're gonna have to, all the time, you're just gonna have to sit there Hey, little Joe, what are you doing? And you're not going to be able to do what you want to do because you're going to have to feed and care for this baby. And uh, even though it might be a little precious little baby gift from God, it's, it's going to bring torture to your life. And um, that's one thing. Uh, another thing is diseases. One thing I'd like to say also is that you have to think about what's at stake. Yes, maybe you want sex now and have fun and have a good time, but think about what happens later, you know? What if you're left with AIDS or left with some other, other venereal disease that you don't need, you know? You have to really watch out and be careful now. And no matter what religion you are, what creed, what color, anything, it doesn't matter, you know? You still are in danger of catching something. You're still in danger of having that fear within you when you're having sex. You don't want to be worried about that. You can wait. It only takes your strong emotions and your, your willpower to, to hold back. I'm 18 and I'm a virgin. And that's something to be proud about for 18 years. <laughs> but, and I, I'm going to continue this way until I get married and settle down and have a family the right way. And I don't need uh, anything else right now. A good relationship would be great, but I don't need sex right now for that. So, thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, my name's Andrea. Um, I'm here today for a lot of, the same reason a lot of these other people are here today, because we all share the same the same passion, and that's not passion for sex. It's not a passion for hormones or whatever. It's a passion for virginity. Amen. It's a passion for letting yourself decide what you want to do. Not letting like TV or the movies or whatever. You know, they say, oh, teenagers, they can't be, they can't abstain, they can't not have sex, they can't not take drugs. Well, I'm living proof, everyone here is living proof that that is not true. I don't know where they got that, but that, that's wrong. And all these people here know that that is wrong. Now, everybody's saying, well, don't have sex because you're going to get pregnant and you're going to get some kind of STD. But I'm not saying that that's not true. Of course that's true. But there are other things that can happen. I mean, if you have sex with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, the minute that you have sex, I mean, not, I know so many people that have had sex with their boyfriend and their girlfriend. The minute that they have sex, they're, it's gone. It was a great relationship. You say, I love you so much. You're not saying, I love you so much. You say, I love your sex so much. Why can't, if that's what they love, then why don't they just wait? Why don't they just wait until they're married? I have a friend. She's 14 years old. She got an STD, and now she's sterile. She's 14 years old. She wanted to later get married. She wanted to have so. She wanted to have kids. She wanted to have a nice family. She can't now. She can't have a nice family. She gets married to her husband. Oh, I love you so much, but we can't have kids. What's he going to say? You're not going to be happy. What if, what if you get married to, say I get married to this guy, and he had sex with some, some prostitute or some girl or something like that, and he says, wait a minute, that other girl was better than you. I think I'm going to go back to her. You're, you're not as good as her. You don't have as good as sex as her. You're not going to be happy that way. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter, I don't care if you're a boy, if you're a girl, 
if you're Spanish, if you're white, if you're black, I don't care if you're purple. You're, you're, you're still in danger of getting sex or in getting STDs from having sex. You're still in danger of getting pregnant. You're still in danger. You're, you're in danger. You're in danger if you don't do the right thing. The right thing is not to have sex until you're married. Thank you. And the body is not meant to screw around. We cannot, there is no way that, that our, our system is set up that we can have sex with 500,000 people, or even three, or even two, but just one. Monogamy, monogamy. That is what we're saying here. I'm gonna bring up Dave again, and we're gonna do a little cheer. And um, wait, wait, what's the virgin cheer? Let me hear the virgin cheer. Safe sex, not safe sex. We're here to get. Safe sex, not safe sex. Woo! Okay, we got it. All right, bunch of virgins. We're gonna hear Dave will come up, and we are going to do. See, nobody really deals with how you really feel about your hormones. Most people are like, okay, you can't have, you can't have, you can't have it. But nobody really deals with what do you do when you want to have and you can't. Amen. So we made up this. A song called Davy Davy and Rachy Rachy. And, and it's 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 really corny, so bear with us. Yes, it's corny. It's really corny, but that's okay. Okay. Davy, Rachy Rachy, Rachy Rachy. Oh, baby, set my hormone free. No, 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 no. Said Rachy Rachy. Okay. Oh, baby, set my hormone free. No. Pray into the Lord on my bed to do just what the good book said to give him every lustful thought in my mind. But baby, it's so hard because you're so fine. I said, Richie, Richie, oh baby, set my hormones free. No, 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 no. I said, Richie, Richie, oh baby, set my hormones free. No. My hormones free. No, 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 no. I said, Davy, Davy. Oh, baby, set my hormones free. No, 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 no. We're in church on Sunday night. You hold my hand and you squeeze me tight. We're going into the darkness and out of the light. Preacher, preacher, preach to me what is right. I said, Davy, Davy. Oh, baby, set my hormones free. No. No, no, no. I said, Davy, Davy. Oh, baby, set my hormones free. No, 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 no. Listen to me when I speak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So when your hormones start to rage, you better run. Because you, you want to hear him say, my, my child, well done. done. I said, Rachy, Rachy. Oh, baby, set my hormones free. No. My hormones free. No, 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 no. I said, Davy, Davy. Oh, baby, set my hormones free. free. No. All right. <laughs> you should save it for true love and not for like fooling around, you know, one night stand stuff. And I believe it all the way. I'm with it all the way. I'm with it till I get married and true love, stay in deep love, whatever. And I mean, this this is great, yo. I'm happy to be here tonight, and I'm gonna leave my friend Ulysses to talk. Uh, my name is Ulysses. Right here with, with Pastor Tony. You know all these people right here right, cheering me up. You know, there's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure around these days. You know, and school, they be like, well, you don't hit that. You know, they call you a punk and everything. You know. You know, all, all I say that you the punk, they the punk, That's cause right. when they get the when they have the baby and all that stuff, they be running away. That's right. Just like that, you know. That's right. And um, you know, I I really I, I save my I save my virginity. Amen. Until I get my until I get married, you know, cause then it will be your first time. It will be her first time. It will be my first time, and you know it will be very special to both of us. That's right. You know, That's it's just right. like that. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, sweetie. I came here today, like, 
the same reason why everybody else came because we all believe in abstinence. We all believe this is the right thing to do. So many things going and on, you know? here. <laughs> but I, I really think that it's important to, to be abstinent, to really save yourself for the right one. Not to, you know, go around and practice. There's no practice. Like she said, there's no second chance. Exactly. It's one. There's one. Monogamy. One. Girl. Not two. Yeah. One. Did we all get that? One. <laughs> I mean, Ow. you're messing yourself up like that with five or, you know, more than one. It's just, it's just stupid. Waste. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. That's I right. mean, it is. It is. Right. And I mean, if you, if you get some kind of like STD, or if you get some kind of you know, something like that. You're not going to be able to ha to have as great a life with your spouse, with your future spouse, as if you stayed as if you stayed a virgin. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you if if you get something like AIDS or herpes or just anything like that, or if you get pregnant, it's just going to totally screw up the rest of your life. That's right. It's going to screw up your dreams. It's going to screw up everything you have planned. I mean, yeah, go ahead. I'm very blessed and humbled to be here, and I'm very humbled to have um, friends that are willing to stand up for virginity. And I just want to encourage of you, of those out there that might have had sex already, and you feel like really guilty about this, I want to tell you something. There is a second chance, there is a second virginity, and there's a third virginity, and there's a fourth virginity. Maybe not sexually, but um, in your heart, emotionally, you can have that second virginity. You can have that um, third virginity, whatever. If you make a decision to say, I will stay free until, until I'm married. So I love you, everybody. And so, you know, this one, it really relates to life, you know, and how it is, you know, because everybody's just doing it and dying and getting diseases and everything. And I think it's really cool that they can really share that they're a virgin. So that's all I want to say. So we have to try our best to uh, be strong and go out and spread the message of safe sex, not safe sex. And also we have to really try to help everyone, our friends around us, our peers, people younger than us, try and help everyone to spread this message of uh, safe sex, not safe sex, you know. And I, I hope that everyone can become involved in some kind of way, even if uh, they can't get connected with a group. And with speaking with your friends around you, if that's the only way you can do it, then at least you're doing something. So um, I hope we can spread the message more. Let's just get right to it because this has got the message. I mean, uh... all right. All you brothers, sisters, listen closely to what I say. Because the consequence may hurt you, pull you down to be enslaved. Yeah, you heard me, be enslaved to a life you'd never want to wish for. So watch closely those who had to pay for the sex they had and the love they wouldn't wait for. Wait for, wait for, wait for. All right. Come on. You see, your body craves for action, for some burning satisfaction. And your mind, well, it knows better, for you should grow to become pure. I'm talking about love, friend, and don't you mistake it for only some pumping that some people make it. Love, friend, is the core of our lives. Now, why would you, why would you, why would you, why would you trash that love, friend? And don't you mistake it for only some humping, pumping, jumping. Love, friend, is the core of our lives. Sure, it's nice to be together. Touching, kissing, feeling each other. But if all you want to do is um, a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom, then cut it off. Tell me what's the deal when the love ain't real. Because after you've done it, you realize you lost it, lost it, lost it. And you can never get it back. So you just change your way of thinking. Change your way of thinking. And let's all find the truth and live in. Let's all find the truth and live in. But well, there is so much time wasting. So much time wasting. And who knows if the bullet is yours? So don't bite the bullet. Don't bite the bullet.
don't bite the bullet. All right. Free sex ain't free. And you should know this, cause the price you pay is more than what you bargain for, maybe even your life. So just be smart, or you two will be hurt and you'll be burning deep inside and then you'll realize it's your love that has been stolen. It's your love that has been broken. It's your love that has been used and abused, ripped to shreds, so please grow up. Take these words for serious, cause I care for all of you who are delirious. I know it when you feel like you're missing it. Please believe me when I say don't ruin it. For yourself, for your loved one, it's all hot when it comes to a good lay, so just stay away. It's the only way to stay alive. And don't you compromise, cause if true love and commitment ain't part of it, then you're just aiming that bullet for the hell of it. We're all in this together. We can't help but being together. So let's make the effort now to stay clear and strong and proud. You got to change your way of thinking. Change your way of thinking. And let's all find the truth in living. Find the truth in living. For there is so much time a wasting. So much time a wasting. And who knows that the bullet is yours? <laughs> so you just change your way of thinking. Change your way of thinking. Let's all find the truth in living. For there is so much time a-wasting. So and who knows that the bullet is yours? So don't bite the bullet. Don't bite the bullet. Put love up front and don't bite the bullet. Put love up front and don't bite the bullet. All right. Put love up front. Don't bite the bullet. Put love up front. Thank you. In my school right now, which I live in Kingston, New York, um, in my school, there's about eight kids right now pregnant in high school, and um, the emotional toll on them, many of them have to drop out of school now, and after the baby is born, they have to worry about uh, getting daycare and all these other problems that normally we wouldn't have to worry about until we were married. And of course, their boyfriend or whoever got them pregnant is not there for them now. So um, they're just left by themselves. And also emotionally, with people catching um, AIDS, there's people at my school that I know of who have AIDS, and they're having to deal with that now at such a young age. And if they, if they knew the message of uh, safe sex, not safe sex, not using a condom, which could maybe break and then risk their lives, why risk it? So um, emotionally, it's been really hard on a lot of people, and that's why I got involved in this, to try to help out. I think it's a very good program, because I mean, it's supporting kids in, in decisions that they want to make and helping them out, and you know, just kind of pushing them along the right way as to where, where the media is telling, there's like pushing them further and further off the path. Right. Do you think they're doing that just to make money? Yes. <laughs> and they're, they're not, they don't care if they hurt people's lives. They, they don't care about anybody, they just care about their money. Yeah. Okay, I think that's great. Uh, thank you. Anything else you want to say in closing? Yeah, ba basically just, you know, I know a lot of people that are sorry that they have se had sex, but I don't know anybody that's sorry that they haven't. So that's basically it. Those great values that shall come from me.
sure Just gotta choose who you love more